I'm going to be doing a little painting of strawberries. I have an actual strawberry here that I can look at. I drawn a sketch on here of a group of strawberries with its leaves and a little laying in a bed of straw. I uh, found pictures online so you can use uh, those as reference. You can even uh, do some tracings of it and trace it on here if you're not good at drawing. But I already got my painting on here and we're going to get started got all my colors laid out on my palette. I also will be using uh, white gesso. White gesso is a loose uh, white paint that has a binder in it. Your canvas comes already um, coated in it, but I like to use that to uh, put over in the background so that my paints uh, uh, spread a little smoother. I also use it to lighten and the different colors on my palettes. So I do have a thicker white as well for uh, painting. So let's get started. Got my brushes all laid out. I'm using acrylic paint on a stretch canvas and I have my brushes out here and I have my water. The one thing you have to remember about acrylic paint is you do need to keep your brushes clean or at least in water when you're working with acrylic paint. If it should dry on your brush, you will end up ruining the brush. So I'm gonna start picking up a little bit of my white gesso. Let me lay some out. And I'm gonna start with the background sky. Now I do have the leaves on here. If I cover them a little bit, that's fine. I, as long as I put this on lightly and loosely, you can still see the pencil marks. And I'm just kind of X stroking this on. I'm only going to come down to where the straw is. And then I'm going to come in into some of these areas where I'll be putting some sky in, showing through. And like I said, if I cover some of the pencil marks, that's fine. I can still see them through. I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick up a little bit of phthalo blue. I'm going to mix it with some of my heavier white. And starting up in the corner working my way across, picking up a little more color. And I'm just, I'm picking up a little corner on the corner of the brush, just the corner, and then coming over to my white. And you can see I've got darker and lighter on both sides of the brush. And I'm just sort of Xing it in and up here. And I'm bringing that down. And it's just a loose X stroke leaving some areas of white there may be some clouds up there i'm just going back picking up more paint and like i said if i go over a little bit of the leaves since i can add a little yellow to my paint and with the blue it'll just turn to a nice green and it's about there and it gets lighter lighter as it goes down i'm going to come in and loosely just pick up some color around some of these leaves where I have some openings and there's some in here and I can always go back in and add more if I need to later. Let's pick up a little more color on this side. Start at the top, work my way down and the white of that gesso I put on lightens things up. And a little there. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put that, clean my brush in water and I just have regular paper towels to dry my brush off. Uh -uh. I'm gonna set that aside. I've got a bigger brush here. I'm just gonna dampen it kind of like the and then lightly don't make sure it's, it's fairly dry. I, I do dampen it slightly but 
and then I'm just kind of Xing it, little X strokes, and then I'm straight across. Now, if you want to darken it, you can always go back in, pick up more of one of my blue, mix it in with a little bit of the white. But this time, I'm going to keep it a little bit darker. And up in these corners, I can kind of darken areas. Like that. Come back with my big brush. Kind of X those in. And what that does is by darkening the corners, it brings your eyes into the lighter area, which will be my sleeves. So, and then straight across. I picked up a hair. You can just kind of pick it up there and take it off your brush. All right. I'm going to clean that brush. And get the excess water off with my paper towel. All right, let's start in with some of the, um, oh, I don't know, we can start with some of these strawberries here. In fact, I think what I'm going to do before I do that is I will, before I start on the actual leaves and that, I'm going to put a little color down here. I'm going to go in and Take my brush and pick up, uh, do the same thing, but I'm going to pick up a corner of the yellow, mix it in with some white, and it's a real pale yellow. I'm just kind of right around the strawberries. This is going to end up a straw. We'll go in and add some browns and such to it. Pick up a little of the gesso. And I didn't really add a lot of gesso down here. I just sort of mixed it in with the color yellow and spread it around. So we at least have some color down here. I don't have any brown on my palette, but I'm going to take a touch of the green, touch of the red, bright red. I'm going to mix those two together. And that makes a nice brown color. If you do have brown on your palette, you're welcome to use it. And I'm going to clean my brush a little bit. I'm going to take some of the white gesso and mix it with that. And you can see how it's now got brown. And I'm just kind of here and there over top of that yellow. I'll let some of the yellow start show through. And we'll come back in and work that later. There's a strawberry I had it there. I've kind of lost the lines a little bit, but that's all right. We'll find it. And get a little more brown down, especially down in these corners. And like I said, we'll, I want some bright areas, some darker areas, and we'll actually come in and define some of the pieces of the straw. This is kind of like the general background color. All right, let me clean that brush. And I haven't used any other brush than this small one here. It's just a nice flat brush. All right, so let's start base coloring some of the strawberries. And of course, they're red. I'm gonna pull some of the red out. And I'm gonna pull just a touch, touch of the white in it. I don't want pink, but I do wanna lighten that color up a little bit. And I'm going to kind of go in and I've got leaves on the top of them. As you can see from my regular strawberry, you've got the little leaves on top. So, And I know this is a little bit of Pink 
pinkish color, sort of red, but we're going to darken it. And I'm going to take a little bit of alizarin on one side of the brush. Then we have to establish what side the light is coming from. Is it coming from this side? If it is, then I've got a touch of white on one side of the brush, alizarin crimson on the other. And as you can see, I'll show you how to fill it. As I pull it through, one side's darker than the other because I picked up on one corner the darker color and the other corner a touch of white. And then I kind of work it. I just work it back and forth like that on my palette. So I got a little touch of white on one side. And so you got one side lighter, one side darker. And you can work it like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up underneath those leaves with the corner that's darker. Because, of course, that'll be in shadow. It'll be casting a shadow. Then on this side, I'm going to follow that around, kind of turning it till I get to the tip. And then work my way. And as I work my way, I'm tilting the brush so that the lighter color is the dominant color. Right there. And then I'm going to flip the brush. This side is going to have more light, but because it curves, you are going to have a little bit of a shadow right along that edge. And that's also what's going to separate it. And you can just take that white and go okay, right in the middle so that the light is hitting it. I'm going to come up and kind of soften that right up underneath the leaves. And if you want, you can also take a softer brush and come in and kind of almost pull it around. Soften it a little bit. This is just a fan brush, but it's got real soft bristles on it. So you've got that. And we can come in and if you're not happy with uh, how dark it is, you can always come back in, pick up more of the dark. And actually come in and even darken that edge a little bit more since that's going to be on the shaded side so that gives you a sort of a rounded now i know with a strawberry they have the little tiny outside almost tiny little dotted seeds we'll go in and put those in as well in fact we'll do this one but i usually will wait and do that a little bit later i'm going to pick up some white Maybe, maybe just a touch of that yellow, not much. And I'm gonna wet that brush pretty good. The only reason I'm picking up the yellow is just to knock that bright white down a little bit. And then you can come in and they kinda follow that around like that. Let's go pick some more up. And this is a little twiggy brush. And you basically have your strawberry. But I kind of do that last. That's more of a detail thing. I did that at first. But I will show you how to we'll kind of get the other ones in. And then we'll go back and add some of the details like that. That way, if once we get it all in, if we need to darken some areas of light, so we won't lose, since that's the main one that we did that. All right, back to my brush. Same thing. I'm going to pick up some of my bright red. And I think I'll put a little bit of a lizard and crimson in one corner. And then the bright red on the other one. And here, I'm going to come in. And this one's a little darker. It's kind of sitting a little bit behind some of these. All right. I'm going to pick up a little bit of white on the other side. Pull it down so that it lightens that color up. I'm going to flip it over. And see, now I've got some of that white in the center. And I 
can go in. I have a couple of brushes going on here. There's my other one. And it's damp. I dampen it and I just make sure all that's off. And I'm going to kind of open it up a little bit so that when I come through, I can kind of soften that in. Same thing on here, on this side. I'm going to wipe it off. I'm just wiping it off on my cloth. And then I'm doing the center. All right. And if you want, you can even take your little cleave brush. It's a little damp. Kind of come in and actually work those edges a little bit. Straighten that out a little bit. All right. And like I said, I've got a softer brush here. It just kind of blends those together. And I got a little bit out of line, so I'm just going to take a different brush, clean that up. So we've got another strawberry, and we're just going to work all of them like that. And we want to make sure that there's a distinct line between them. So this is a little bit lighter. That's a little bit darker because it's kind of sitting a little more behind. And if you don't get enough dark on there, you can always go in with your twiggy brush. Kind of follow that line and actually add a little more shadow to that side so it stands out from the other one. This one I'm going to just clean that edge up a little bit. So you can see how you can work back and forth between the two. And because this is lighter and this is so much darker, you've got a distinct line. So that's how we're doing our separation between our strawberries. I'm going to come back in. This time I'm just picking up some of my alizarin. I still have a little bit of white on one side. I'm going to come in here real dark. This strawberry is underneath those. I'm going to flip it over. Now make sure you flip it over your brush so that the darker side is always on the edges. Get a, get a little, little rounded edge. And I'm going to touch a little bit of white on the one side. Pull it through. And give it that little highlight. And let me go back to my darks one. Make sure up top here, there's some shadows coming down. So then I'll take my, and any soft brush, you don't have to use a fan brush. I just happened to have that sitting there and it was handy and it was nice and soft. So I've got one down there, it's a lot darker. Um, I can come in, like I says, in here maybe, give a little light bouncing off of it there. And just kind of all right and make sure you keep that soft brush fairly clean fairly dry I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna round this edge just a little bit so we've got one there those are looking pretty good so I'm gonna go in and Pick up some of my yellow and white mix and put some of my little seed pods there. And we're just going to continue working that. I'm staying away from the darker because I think I'm going to darken. this mixture a little bit. I'm going to touch some of the brown that I made earlier and just darken it. And that was green and that was the green and the uh, bright red. 
I'm going to darken that a little bit so those seeds aren't quite as bright along in the shadow edge. Maybe right over here a couple. So, we've got our strawberries. And you can see how some of it blended in. And we can come back and actually pick up a little more of the light, maybe right in the center part. Let's pick up just straight white. I'm going to try to go over where we had some of them. And just where the light would strike in the center. Same here. You can pick out some lighter ones so that it does look like it comes forward. All right, clean that brush, put it down. Let's go to the next one. And we've got several strawberries going on here. And I do have some reference pictures that I'm working with. I'm gonna go back, pick up white on one side this time I'm going to pick up just the bright red, not the darker alizarin crimson. I do still have some of the alizarin on the brush, so it still will have some darks. I'm going to come in and get some of that and some of that lighter color right in the center. Let's get a little more around it there. Same thing here. It's a smaller, couple smaller ones here. And over here, I am going to pick up straight alizarin on one side of the brush. Because this is behind, I'm going to follow that curve right around. And right out to the edge. And bring that out. All right, I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take my smaller brush, pick up some of the white Mix with a little bit of the red, get that center highlight. Clean that brush off. And kind of work my way across. And then get that little, oh, let's make that just slightly more whiter. Get that rounded edge. And bring that up. All right. I think, think I'm going to make that strawberry come all the way over here as if some of it is that's sitting right behind. Let's go in even darker. I want it super dark right in there where it's sitting behind. So you can see you can work your different colors and then of course dark along that edge as it rounds. I'm gonna pick up just a touch of the white. It doesn't matter which white it is, it's right in here. Clean my brush off. Just kind of work that way in. Get that little highlight in the center. All right, it's looking good. I'm gonna go back to my yellows, mix with some of the white. And those little seeds, I'm gonna pick a little water. It's not coming off. If it paint doesn't come off your brush, Thin paint will stick to a thicker paint, so add a little water to your paints. And that should help the paint come off your brush. And here. Let me pick up a little more for this one. Okay. 
Okay, and we can go add more if we need it. So we've got basically our strawberries are in. Let me clean my brush. Oh, we forgot one down here. That's right, I did have one down there. Now down here, because this is right under everything, not only am I gonna use the alizarin, but I am gonna touch, just barely, barely touch the little blue on the edge. Add some of the alizarin crimson to it. Get it almost a purple. But I wanna keep it more towards the red. Keep adding more of the red till you get, oh, a deep, deep, red I mean like I said almost purple I'm going to come in right up underneath with that color you can see how dark dark it is okay I'm going to stop right there I'm going to clean that color off now I'm going to go in to my bright red and mix it double load it, uh, darker on one side, lighter on the other. I'm gonna turn that and I'm gonna follow that down to the end there. And you can use a smaller brush if you're more comfortable. I try to use the biggest brush I can uh, that works. But if you're having a little trouble with it, you certainly are welcome to use a smaller one. All right, so you can see how deep dark that is. And that other one's coming out. I'm gonna go take my little twiggy brush, go into that red, maybe even a little lizard crimson, the darker, deeper, deeper red. And I'm gonna come out. And come around. And get it right up in that little spot, right up in there. And then I'm going to touch a little bit of white, not much, just a tip right in here. I'm clean that brush a little bit. But just kind of wipe it on my paper towel and just kind of work that little highlight down here. Staying out of that dark. I don't want any highlight in there. That's the shadow coming off of the top strawberry. Okay, now we can go in the yellow and white. And of course, I'm going to stay out of that top because I want to deepen that color as well on the seeds. And you won't be able to see as many in the shadows. But you can touch a little bit of the brown. Maybe mix it with just a slight bit of white and yellow. Maybe. Maybe you can just start seeing something. You're not sure if it's there or not, but there you go. So we got the lower strawberry under there. So we've got our group of strawberries. Now we can start working on the leaves. And we can always come back, so like this one here. If you're not happy with that end, you can always come back in. Whoops, I have a little too much water. Just pick that right up. That'll teach me to kind of dry my brush off a little. And then I can come in and round that edge off a little bit. You can even take a touch of green and round the edges off a little bit if you want. Um, I'd mix a little green and white. Because sometimes your berries are, have a little bit of green on the edge. They're not quite perfect. So, I mean, you can, you can play around with your strawberries. So, bring that down a little bit. A little bit of shadow there. So you can play around with them and go back in and add a little more highlights if you want. Especially, oh, if the light's shining, there's usually a spot on the top that's really, really highlighted, such as right here, maybe. You know, and maybe, maybe here. So you can do that. All right, let's start working on the leaves. All right. I've got a lot of leaves up in here, and they run from a pale green to a deeper green, depending on where they're at. Of course, if the light's coming down, the paler are gonna be up where the light is, and the darker is gonna be down. 
Now we need to look at the sky. Do we want to add some maybe clouds in the sky? Do we want to do, you know, anything with that before we get going on the leaves? I'm going to take a brush here and I'm going to take some of the darker whites. And as I take that, I just load it up with some of that and then I'm going to scrub. Clean that brush, wipe it off, and then on the bottom, just kind of scrub that out. I think I got a little yellow mixed in, which is fine. Pick up some of the white on top, make it brighter. All right, so you got a little cloud coming in there. Let's add one over here. And it kind of goes off over there. Okay, I'm going to clean that brush. Kind of scrub the bottom out just so it fades. And I think I'll add one more. Maybe, maybe right here. It's going to come right up to those leaves. Maybe even a little underneath. All right. There's some white areas in here. And spread that out. Maybe even take some of that little yellow on the bottom of it. All right, so we just got some interest in the cloud sky. We're gonna go in, let's clean that brush real quick. All right, we're gonna start with the leaves. I'm going to go in with the green. I'm going to take some of the white, mix it with that. And I'm going to take a little bit of yellow on one side of the brush. So I got here pale green. Let's see, I'm clean one. Here's the dark green. I'm going to take some white, mix with that. Then I'm going to pick up some yellow. And yellow's on one side, so when I pull it through, I'm getting two colors. I'm getting yellow on one side, green on the other. I'm going to start with the yellow side up, and I'm going to kind of follow them. And if that's too dark, just go in, pick up some more white, run it through those colors. darken or lighten that color. I'm going to take, just kind of wipe that off and I'm going to pull a little peak out there and I'm kind of wiggling a little bit and then I'm pulling it straight up and down the bottom, kind of wiggling. And there's one leaf. I'm going to pick up straight white. And I'm going to go one side through that yellowish. So I almost have white. I'm going to come over here on the edge. I'm picking up the loose white. And I'm coming through. So you can play with the colors like that. And I'm just pulling that out. And you can pull those back. So there's different ways of making leaves. So if you don't like it, fix it. And the beauty of acrylic, if you don't like it at all, you can always wipe it off and 
or let it dry and go over it. All right, I'm gonna go back in. I like the lighter color, so I'm gonna keep it light. I can always go back in and darken it. It's a lot easier to do that. So I've got yellow on one side, green on the other. Pull it down and then I'm gonna pick up white and go through that, keeping it as light as possible. And one side is darker than the other. So I'm gonna start here. I got another leaf and it's got almost a lot of yellow in it. I'm pulling that down, pulling that down that way and pulling it straight up through the center. I now have a leaf there. I'm gonna go in and pick up the same thing. Darker on one side, lighter on the other. I'm going to do the same here. There's the light part. And that leaf comes up here and comes around. And then I'm actually going to pick up even a little bit of darker on one side so that it separates it from this one. And then right through the center. So I've got a couple leaves up here. I'm gonna come down here. This one, of course, is a little darker because it is more in shadow. I'm gonna put lighter in the center. Pick up that dark again. And come right through there. And this one, I'm going to kind of jiggle that edge a little bit, almost, you can see how it's almost serrated. So you can come in and fix different things like that. And there's the little leaf coming through. I'm going to go in, and I'm going to pick up some of that white and a touch of the blue. Keep it fairly light. Right in here, I'm gonna touch some of the blue, a little bit of white. Some of the sky is showing through. So you can go in and put some of the sky back in here along that edge so that it doesn't look like it's just a big white spot. So well, if you do have a few, it could be a cloud showing behind it. I'm going to take a little darker green. I'm going to pull here the stem up. And another one here. So we've got some stems coming off of there. And we can take the little liner brush and go in. Okay, back to my white. Touch of yellow on one corner. Some of the deeper greens on the other. You got a leaf here. So it's gonna kind of wiggle, wiggle to a point. And same thing on the other side. And drag that line through. So we've got another leaf there. Under here, I'm gonna pick up even a little darker and go into the darker greens. And we've got a few things coming down off of there. And I'm gonna go in and pick up even a little bit darker. my darker so you can play around with these leaves just be aware the top ones you're kind of kind of wiggle there that's what I wanted see how I'm wiggling along that edge giving it that little okay so there's a leaf there let me bring that stem back up a little bit so you've got several leaves going in I've got one here look around 
if it's more towards the top, you want to get a little more yellow down here. This one's a little darker. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the white and yellow. Yeah. Just a touch of that dark. I want to get a nice line coming through there. And in fact, I think I'm going to take a little bit of the darker right along that edge there. And I'm just using the corner, very corner, just barely touching and pulling that up. So now I've got a distinct edge there. So you just keep working the different leaves up here. We've got some leaves down here and I've also have some little um, strawberries that haven't ripened in here that we'll go in and put in. Let me finish the top leaves. Okay, I'm gonna go in, dark green, yellow, and then pick up the white, lighten those up, keeping one side a little darker. Okay, up here. That's kind of a wiggly. And then and then coming, turning the brush so that it's, and you can see how I got a chiseled edge. That's how I'm getting it to. And then I'm actually gonna pull a little stem down here. So, and we can kind of put a little line in there. Let's work that again. Dark on one side, light on the other. And you can tell this is dark edge pulling up. Okay, I think I'm going to take my little liner, go in with some of my darks. I am mixing it with a little bit of the and. A little darker. I'm just pulling that around. So now this looks like almost like the leaf is cupped up where this side is sort of cupped up over and you can see the inside of the flower or the leaf. And then there's the stem coming down. So you can work the different things like that. You can play around with it. Uh, if you're not real good with leaves, you can take a old canvas or a piece of uh, heavy paper and uh, practice doing leaves on it. Right, back to my yellows, my whites. Let's get a little more yellow. And then one side is a little darker. All right, we've got a nice leaf out here. And a little darker down there and drag that through. I'm going to go in a little darker underneath. Because I've got a leaf that's tucked under here. And I want it even darker because it's going to be in shadow. So I've got almost straight sap green on that corner. And I'm just going to pull it out to flatten it a little bit. And that is really deep green. And then the other side, of course, on this brush is the lighter color. So I'm going to put that and kind of pull those together. Okay. In fact, I think, and you can turn your canvas around if that's easier for you. I'm going to kind of do a jagged edge here. And I'm going to go in straight sap green. I still have some of the other colors on my brush, but I'm going in straight sap green. And in here, I'm going to 
there's a leaf that comes down like that. And it's underneath. I'm gonna go back to my lighter colors. Same brush, I'm just sort of picking up some of the lighter colors, some of the yellows. And as it comes out here, And I'm going to clean that brush a little bit. I'm getting too much paint on it. And you can do that if you start getting a little crazy with it. And on a clean brush, I'm going to kind of bring that, sort of bring those together, go into my dark color, make sure it's a point. And just kind of pull that center out, wipe some of that off, and kind of there. So I'm going to go up and to my lighter colors, my whites, my yellows, a little bit of the greens mixed in. And I'm going to pull that forward over top. I don't want to lose some of that shape, but you can see how I can pull that over top, and there's a little point. It's literally sticking over top of that one. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight out on this edge here where the sun is just starting to catch it. All right, so now we can start on some of the smaller leaves underneath. For those, I think the first thing I'm going to do is take some yellows and some of that green, but more yellow this time. I want this more towards the yellow side. And it's mixed in with some of the greens. I've got some small strawberries here. They're just little tiny. And in fact, let me add a little white to that. I'm gonna go in with a little more yellow and white. There's another one here. And, oh, did I have another one? I think that was it. There was just the three little ones. I'm gonna clean that brush, pick up a little bit of the white gesso, and just kind of put a little highlight here. I'm going to take a little bit of the brown that I mixed up. Add that to some of the white. And I'm going to pull some of these stems off of it. And I'm gonna add some to some of these greens. These are coming down. And I'm trying to avoid some of the leaves that are there. So bring that down a little more. All right, and you can even pick up a little bit of the greens and put on some of these. Is it? They get browner towards that. All right. I'm going to take a straight yellow, put it off the side, add some white to it. And I'm going to come in and just put a little, there you go. All right, I've got that cleaned up. I'm going to go into my greens. And my yellows. I'm going to add a little water to that. And then here. 
got some of these leaves that come down and literally are going over top of the strawberries. Pick up a little darker on that one. And wipe some of that off. And see, this is dry here now, so you can paint right over it. I'm going to add a little more of the yellow and white, a little highlight on some of those. All right. And a little darker right in here. Right kind of where the stem is. I'm going to even drag it down a little. Separate some of those. All right. So we've got the little leaves up on top of that one. Let's go do the next one. Let me get some of the paint off. And then I'm going to pick up some of the lighter colors. That way they sort of have a two-tone. And a little one's coming up. There's a little on there. All right. And these more or less just kind of come down. Go in, need some here, maybe a little darker since it's in shadow. All right, that looks pretty good. Now you need to look around. We've got areas of white where we can either put some leaves in or we can go in and uh, add some sky back in. I think I've got a nice one here. Pick up a little bit dark on one side. Right here. And I'm going to kind of keep it away from that little berry there. And I'm going to make a kind of jagged edge there. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little dark the base of it. Clean my brush a little bit, kind of blend that. Oh. And that comes in over there. And you could have used a little liner brush for that. Um, where else? Oh, let's see. Maybe one here. You can see I'm just turning the brush. There's one there. Maybe. Oh, let's see. Let's. There's a nice one hanging down by the straw. Okay, I think we've got pretty much that done. I'm going to go in with a little bit of my blues and whites. Keep it more white than blue. I can always darken. And then I'm going to add a little, I think I'm going to add a little more white to that. Clean that brush. Pull that color out a little bit. And if it's too dark, I can always pick a little bit of it up. A little bit too much blue on a brush. 
kind of blend that in. Nothing much, just a little bit here and there. Make a little bit of that up, add a little white to it. Maybe that cloud is sitting behind it. You can see it. So, and maybe, maybe just a touch in here. Put a little touch of blue. And you can narrow that down, cover up things. I think that looks pretty good there. We can always add more up here. In fact, I think I might add just a little dark one right in there. So you can play around with it. Maybe, maybe something coming off of that one. So let's clean that brush. Now we're going to work on the straw. With that, I'm going to go in and my bright red, my green. I'm going to make some brown, or if you have a brown, just going to add a little yellow to it, some white. So we've got different. Values of it. Okay. So I'm going to get my brush is like a chisel. I'm pulling it both sides through and I'm going to add some straws. I'm going to pick up a little more white. Now these are some of the darker ones. I'm going to come over with some of the lighter ones. There's even a piece of straw coming up underneath the strawberries. And under here, you're going to go darker. Most of the dark ones are going to be under the strawberries. Especially these right here on the bottom. It kind of sets them down. straw sits kind of all different directions. Okay, now I'm going to go with the lighter. I'm going to take some more yellow, some more white, pick up some of that brown, and go even lighter. The nice thing about acrylics is you can go from dark to light. You can go from light to dark. Uh, with watercolors, you want to preserve the whites, but this one we have white paint on it. So now you can see I have almost a yellowish color straw. And that's just coming in. And you're filling in some of the spaces, but you are overlapping. And you want to keep more of the dark underneath the strawberries because, of course, that's in shadow. And I'm just kind of dabbling here and there. Now I'm going to add more white, a little more yellow. Keep lightening that same mix up. Get that sharp point. Maybe, maybe there's a piece sticking way up like that. And you can see why I put that yellow base underneath. Because if I miss any spots, it's not going to be a pure white canvas. And then once I get this in, and it's beginning to look more like straw, we can come in with the liner brush. And that's where we come with the liner brush. I'm going to pick up white, 
go right in that same color. It's almost pure white with just a tinge of the yellows and browns in it. And I'm going to pick up water. I'm going to get enough water in there so that it's really, really runny. It almost wants to drip off my brush. And I'm going to come in here. I'm going to just kind of drag it just so it isn't and you can come in I'm gonna pick up a little more white with that I'm gonna pick up even some of the browns so you know, now I'm working with all the different colors some of the darker browns But these are a little more delicate lines. And back to my lights. Back to my darks. Piece of straw sticking up. Every which way. Up some pure white and uh, a couple spots here. Highlight a few of these. Got the lights hitting. All right, stand back. That's mm -hmm. the best way to look at it. See what you need. Maybe over here. Some dark. So we're down in the corners. You want to bring your eye into the main feature here. So I'm going to come in, and I've got a couple spots here I want to, where that sky, where we put some in, I'm going to have a little dab of white in there. Kind of blend that in. So look around, see what you need. Um, I lost that stem. So I'm going to bring that back in. Let me go get a little bit of the green. So, yep, and there's something else you can do. Water down your color. This is that medium green. And you can even do some little curly cues coming out. Get a little more water on it and I roll my brush. So something coming off of there. Just add some interest to the painting. So and then look at your strawberries. Before you finish up, go in, you can pick up a little bit of reds roll that brush and if you put your hand on you have you know make sure it's dry but you can come in you see how you can round that one a little more you know look for those little details you need some more um, of the um, little seeds on there you can go now's the time to do it this is the time you can go in and uh, do some of your um, detail work or picking up or, or rounding things off maybe maybe take some dark greens maybe out here this is fairly dry maybe this needs a little bit darker edge do that and you can even bring some of that color down And you see how it's that puts it underneath more of a shadow so you can play around with your painting but i think right now we've got fairly finished painting i'm going to go in and with my bright red i think i'm going to sign this one
So it's strawberry season, it's spring. We got ourselves some nice berries there. And I hope you enjoyed that one.